The second handicapping angle that we're going to look at is trainer-jockey combinations. This is very similar to the first handicapping angle, which is human connections, but oftentimes trainers and jockeys have a special connection in either a special circumstance or simply as that connection. So now we're going to flip forward to February the 1st in our journals here, and we're going to take a look at West Coast Girl who on February 1st was debuting in a maiden special weight for three-year-olds. Bill Mott was the trainer, and he typically is not real good with his first-time starters, winning only 9%. However, today, he was giving John Velasquez a leg up to ride. John Velasquez and Bill Mott have been winning over the past two winters at Gulfstream at a 57% win rate when they hook up together. The fact that this horse was also nearly a three-quarters of a million dollar purchase, was going out for live connections, had strong bullet works, but it was the trainer-jockey combination that led me to land on this horse, and in fact, I made West Coast Girl my bet of the day on that afternoon. As they hit the far turn, back stretch, it's bridled Arist and West Coast Girl, and these two are two and a half lengths clear of their competition. Bridled Arist almost a length in front, ran 22 and 2 for the opening quarter. West Coast Girl second on the outside, clinging to her. It's three lengths to Snow Bell, and then comes Fine Candy, Renault Bell to the inside, engagingly is next. Cali Star's got seven lengths to make up, and Beauty Surprise. Bridled Eris continues to lead the way. West Coast Girl making her work. They went 45 and 1 for a half mile, and Snowbell is three lengths off of them. Engagingly fourth and Kelly Star, they're into the stretch. And West Coast Girl and John Velasquez have taken the lead. Bridled Eris trying to stick with Snowbell. Snow Bell and Kelly Star on the outside. But West Coast Girl is West Coast Girl today. Awesome.